dear students welcome back already i have explained you in my previous slide about absolute uh, positioning and incremental positioning now using the same tool path i'll show you how to make a cnc program using absolute positioning and incremental that is absolute coordinate system and incremental coordinate system here we go uh, you see this is about absolute programming and this is about incremental programming it is for the same tool path one two three four how to use I, I will tell you here you see first always when you do a cnc programming as i told you yesterday about the word format i mean the block formats okay uh, you see first it starts with the line number n01 i have given here n01 n02 n03 n04 is just like a serial number here we call it as a block number n01 and next is g00 means it is not cutting and we say this is g90 g90 means absolute programming see the code i have written here absolute programming means g90 or g90 means it represents absolute programming absolute programming means all the distances of 1 2 3 4 is measured only from fixed origin 00, zero. okay let's come back here now here so this uh, n01 g00 g90 and x40 y40 x40 y40 means at this point what is the value of x and y 40 40 x40 y40 and then um, uh, and then it is uh, asking for spindle speed means yeah, and m03 m03 means start spindle and you should immediately tell what is the speed of the spindle that is s1000 means it is uh, the spindle is rotating at an rpm of 1000 okay so this is the first line so in the first block we tell g00 g00 mean don't cut we are assuming tool is here now cutting tool is here from here we are bringing the tool to this point how to tell him to come here we should tell him come without cutting that means g00 so g00 and then uh, we tell uh, we have to tell what is the uh, programming system and programming uh, coordinates it is about absolute coordinate system and at this point what is the value of x and y x40 y40 so n01 g00 g90 and then x40 y40 start spindle and yes 1000 yes 1000 is spindle speed is 1000 you can write m m03 m before and then yes afterwards also no issues see after one block is completed there is a dot comma semicolon that is end of block then comes to next point next block that is n02 n02 is we are telling tool to move to point number two how it is moving it is moving by removing material so the cutting process starts here so since it is removing materials we will use the code g01 so block number two n02 is g01 and instruct the tool to move to the point two so at point two x value is 40 y is 60 since it is removing material there should be a value for feed okay there should be a value for feed some feed has to be given here f and also we have to add one point called as um, z value okay that is it is cutting stroke so it should be z minus one please we should add here z minus one or minus two this minus one and minus two represents the depth of cut one mm depth or two mm depth that you can give some values but there should be a value of z here i have missed to write here okay so g01 x40 y60 z minus 2 and then f100 okay that is for cutting stroke from point number one to point number two then same thing repeats to the next point if you come to the point number three again same g01 what is the value here x60 y60 x60 y60 i have not written f100 because if you are not writing means it repeats here by default this instruction is already given to machine machine's memory it is there so similarly uh, z minus 2 which i forget to write here is also uh, there in the machine so we don't write z and f again again in fact g01 is also not necessary to be repeated because g01 is already in the memory of machine okay so machine assumes same g01 unless there is a change when there is a change in the code only we will tell this is change otherwise machine will take the same previous commands and follows the operation anyway i have written you here i have written here just because this is the first problem 
okay so this is m02 in the second block g01 x40 y60 that is at the point 2 and and third point x60 y60 and in fourth point x is 60 y is 40 x60 y40 and then coming back to 1 is again x40 y40 after finishing cutting operation we have to tell him go back to this point o so again 1 to 0 is no cutting again this g01 will change to g00 and tell him go to x0 y0 and m05 m05 means stop spindle because the spindle was rotating here 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 and since it is not uh, cutting so we will tell stop the spindle and finally end program okay so here these two blocks block number six block number seven are called as last phase three of cnc program because no cutting end program phase stopping spindle stopping program and first block is called as setup phase setup phase means it is we are telling this is auxiliary program spindle is starting rotating at this rpm so this is setup phase phase number one first phase and this block number two till block number five is the cutting phase material removal phase three phases phase number one phase number two and last two is phase number three phase number one is setup phase phase number two two is cutting phase cutting phase we take the values from here uh, from the tool path and finally end program phase we say stop the spindle stop the coolant i didn't give you coolant options here we will see one by one slowly later first i want to give you uh, information about how to take the coordinate values using absolute and incoherent okay i think you are clear now how to do absolute programming uh, for this toolbar now the same thing comes here repeats here you see we are doing an incremental programming if you see here here i have uh, taken here g00 g90 means i am telling absolute programming but here i have taken g00 g91 91 means incremental programming i have shown you here g91 g91 means incremental programming and other values look same x40 y40 s100 s1000 and m03 s1000 it's all same and everything is same i mean uh, g01 is same but x y value will change as we found in the previous slide we found the values x y this x y value will come over here so that again i will explain you uh, this is g01 x is 0 y is 20 it is at this point okay at this point we take uh, first it is telling x40 y40 so from here g00 moves here it is same and from 1 to 2 so this is assumed as uh, the origin so x is 0 y is 20 x0 y20 f here also we should write z minus 2 i forget here also the z always stands for depth of cut okay and uh, go to the point number 3 and what is the value here so 2 becomes origin so x is 20 y 0 x 20 y 0 here uh, point number 4 x is 0 y is minus 20 so x 0 minus 20 and point number 1 x is minus 20 y is 0 x minus 20 y is 0 and then finally go back to this point g00 x uh, minus 20 y minus 20 so from here it is coming down to this point so this is taken as 00 and come back so in minus direction minus 20 this is also minus direction minus 20 okay and then m05 this is same m05 m30 same so almost the setup uh, end program phase is similar and initial setup phase is similar only the cutting phase yesterday I, saw, I told you only the material removal phase will totally change from that to this the values of x y okay so this is what about uh, writing program using absolute programming method and incremental programming method as a first problem i have shown you just for an example both hereafter we will use only absolute programming method where our origin is fixed at one point and we measure the values of x y in all other points along the tool path and while doing the program okay so hope you are clear with this absolute programming and incremental programming if anyone asks what is the difference you should tell in absolute programming the origin is fixed and the values of x y is taken referring to that fixed origin in incremental programming the origin keeps moving the values of x y is taken from 
the uh, moving origin example if you are taking the values of x y in point number 3 the point previous to point number 3 acts as origin and from there the values of x y is measured that is about incremental why these two types of programming methods is there means that depends upon the complexity of the product used if the product used for programming um, is uh, is of complicated shape uh, where we feel difficult to measure the distances of x y from one fixed origin then we adopt incremental uh, positioning method where we change the origin and take the measurement of x y okay that depends on the complexity of the product but you should know what is absolute programming and incremental programming so with this i am stopping this lecture and i'll come back to one more video immediately after this where we see an example problem in giving a uh, complete cnc programming for a product thank you all